to pick up the book. You might not know, but Apple made its coolest laptop in 1996. And here it is, in this convenient, easy to carry bag. No one really likes seeing people take stuff out of bags, so I went right ahead and did that for you. Here it is, the PowerBook 1400 CS, Apple's coolest ever laptop. Right? Hmm, right, indeed, Peter. This comes off. Why does it come off? Why on earth would this come off? I just paid twenty six hundred dollars for this laptop, and the top of the lid comes off. Why is this happening to me? Anyway, why does this come off? Well, Apple, if you're familiar with it, in the mid nineties was struggling a wee bit with something called finances and having good ones. Um, so what they did was desperately try and do anything to grab attention from people. So. That's what happened, really. But, pretty cool, right? Wrong. What is cool is this. That jazzy lid, which, when you open it, is upside down. Isn't that fantastic? But, why does it change color? Well, you can take this off, as I demonstrated, and inside is a piece of paper. And Apple gave you a nice selection of pieces of paper. It came in a, uh, a wallet, like this, very nice. Very sleek, very Apple. Um, they gave you a selection and they came in the following colours. Insanity. Corduroy. Tin cat stripes off the giant high on a hill, I don't know. Acid trip. Breaking bad. I miss the rage down in a Brown. Purple. Blue. Pink. Orange. Acid trip. Brown. Green. Brown. If you've seen my PowerBook G4 video, you'll know that those machines are very difficult to take apart for the sole reason of having about a thousand million screws in them in order to just get the CD drive out. Well, it's a slightly different story with this machine because to get the CD drive out, all you do is that. And now it's out, well, it's a floppy disk drive at the moment, but if I wanted to, I could grab this and put that in it. Look, it's it's got a CD drive now. Modern. Anyway, the actual coolest thing about taking this thing apart is you just slide that, lift it off, and you can take the old fucking keyboard out. Look, easy peasy. Hard drive's there, and the processor and RAM is all underneath. So, you need a grand total of six screws in order to upgrade the RAM and CPU in this. Where did this go, Apple? What happened to this? It feels a little bit like Apple stopped making good stuff and just started making good stuff instead. It's almost like now that they've got a quarter of a billion dollars in cash, they don't feel any incentive to make, you know, groundbreaking new projects. I mean, just an idea. Apple stopped making the same products over and over again. And I'm beginning to wonder, are they going to make anything that's really new ever again? There's something about Apple. Something. What could it be? It's something I can't quite put my finger on. There's something else. Wait. It's a fucking computer company and all they give a shit about is pleasing shareholders and making money.